Hi Capricorn, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a four-month predictive tarot and oracle card reading. This is a reading for all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now, I only do this reading twice a year. If you don't mind either hitting the like button or even dropping an emoji into the comments, it does good things to the algorithm. That way the reading will be out and about and people will see it who would be interested in seeing this reading. Now we're going to kick things off with a theme here from the Edgar Casey Inspirational Quotes deck. I got this deck at the Edgar Casey Center in Virginia Beach. Let me know if you've been there. I, I tell you what, when I was there riding up on the elevator from the first to the second floor, I just started to get an uncomfortable feeling. And that second floor, I could not stay on there long. I don't know if it's the couch or just the energy flying around. As soon as I went up to the third floor, I was just fine though. So anyway, let me know if you had anything like that. So this from Edgar Casey: For each entity, each soul is his brother's keeper. Love it, okay? Okay, so we're looking out for each other on a soul level. Even if somebody in their physical body and their dumb meat suit drives you nuts, they're still a soul at the end of the day. So we're going to hear about that and see what's going on there. If it's a co-worker grinding your gears or some other kind of a relationship in your life, let's consult the tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Capricorn, please? What does Capricorn need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Capricorn? Messages for Capricorn. Okay, we're going to go four months, May, June, July, August. But keep in mind that tarot is sacred divination. So it's not quite the timeline that you get out of astrology, but I will give you timing cards as they become available. You've got the Emperor. This is May. The Tower. Don't get scared yet. The King of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Into June, you have the Sun. The ten, There's some ending here, all right? The Four of Swords, but I feel like you're going to be insulated in the Two of Wands. You're moving on to something better. In July, we've got the Ace of Wands. Interesting that we had the Ace too. Now in the order, so it goes Ace too, but it also goes Sun, Judgment in the order and the world. That is crazy. Sun, Judgment, World in order. Okay, I mean, there's these cards, but you get what I'm saying. And the Knight of Wands. So I definitely feel like July is going to be a fantastic month. You have some things to navigate, but it's also just life. You, in August, we have the Page of Cups, the Seven of Swords, the Fool, and the Six of Wands. Well, I feel like somebody's going to get exposed. If there is somebody that's been dishonest and you have an ending here, I feel like, I hate to say this because I don't, you know, we don't want to validate off of somebody else, but I do feel like you're going to be vindicated. If you were saying something about a person that was untrustworthy, they show up here and here again. Now, we got to take the shadow cards. I got off track because I got excited. You have two more fours here, which I like. You have three fours. We No, four fours. That's wonderful. So you have the four of wands, the four of cups, and the uh, king of wands here. It appears that we have all the elements. We have Aries here. We have Leo here. We have the archangel Gabriel, which helps you find your life's purpose. And you have the world in the fool too. So the world in the fool, this is just too crazy. It, it, the beginning and the end of the major arcana. So I do feel like you're going to have things get into alignment and order, especially if something didn't feel fair. You actually have five fours. I'm sorry. Did I say we had, no, we had, th I said we had three. We actually have four. All right. Four fours, four, four, four. I keep hearing it. So this is going to help you. If there's been rules that haven't been followed, they're going to get righted. I love the emperor with the tower. All right. So you don't ever, somebody got scared of the tower and said, just redo the reading. Absolutely not. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a message of an ending and an awakening. So with the four of wands, four of cups, and that energy of the king of wands, this is going to help you to get busy, to take that leap of faith, to get things started. Now, if it's a relationship, if you had an ending to a relationship and this little bugger keeps popping up, I do feel like they want to apologize and they may do that, but I still feel like you're going to see them as same old, same old. You have somebody new coming in. Now, if you're in a relationship, you have a wedding here, but you have a real love story here. So I definitely feel like as you move into this next cycle, you're going to be busy, focused on other things and not being worried about the small, petty 
person around you or energy around you. And so we have to let go to receive. We know it's one of the greatest paradoxes of our universe. Interestingly enough, the emperor pushes against and challenges rules. So if somebody around you makes up arbitrary rules, if it's where you live and they suddenly you know, start fining people for things that are not against the rules, or it's somebody who tries to report things that aren't, it's like they're making up their own rules. Even if they play a game, they play Scrabble, and they start making up rules, and you say, I cannot be with this person. That emperor energy will help you hold a steady state where you'll just find you'll want to be almost repelled by them. But if it was a job that you lost, I also feel like, too, somebody here, if you have had an issue with getting, um, a payment for something, whether it was an accident or a job loss like unemployment. I do see that as coming through this month in the month of May if you've been waiting on something and especially too if you did all the paperwork. Now if it's not necessarily straightforward with money but you did all the paperwork and it didn't get put through correctly, I do feel like where you're going to have things work out in the month of May with this. So with the Emperor Energy, he's the great architect of the universe, but what the Tower brings in is a shift, a release of things that don't serve us. We want the Tower to come in because it helps us let go of something. It's the corporate raider of the deck. It helps to realign things. That Tower was not here to stand anyway. It wasn't here to last. It's built on sand. And so when you have something that's that insecure and that unstable, you just can't stay in a steady state with it. What alliteration I just pulled off right there. But with this, I'm telling you, the tower is meant to end. If it was a relationship too, I feel like you may have somebody who gives you information about this person that will change your opinion. So if you've kind of been thinking about reconciliation or been wondering about them, I feel like you're going to be able to close the door on that chapter. Whatever it is, you have some kind of, I heard, informant who gives you information and it helps you let go of the past and helps you move forward. So in the rest of May here, we have money and security coming in. Again, those fours are all about discipline. So I do feel like financially you have money, but you're going to be smart about it. You won't waste money. You won't give money to people that you shouldn't. You won't allow yourself to be taken advantage of at all here. And so in the energy of May, I do feel like it's going to be a nice abundant time in terms of finance. The Four of Pentacles, he is the miser of the tarot, but he doesn't lack. He's almost like the millionaire who lives off the grid and has all this money. And it just doesn't really, it's not a huge deal to him. He keeps it close and he almost kind of hoards it, but it's not because he doesn't have it. And so with that King of Pentacles, I feel like as you have money coming in, if it is a job too, and you end up having some extra weeks of like unemployment on top of an actual paycheck, I do feel like you'll put that back into like a little nest egg or something like that. That's how I see it. Now, in terms of relationships, I still feel like you're navigating something here with the ending of a relationship. You may meet somebody who is a king of pentacles. It could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or another cap. But I feel like with this, it makes you feel tingly and alive with this sun energy. But you still have something to address down here. Okay, so we're like getting this beautiful illumination. It brings in gains. It brings in growth and a feeling of expansion. It's lovely. But I feel like you still have something hanging on. You have a Klingon in your energy into June. So with this, it's like this is about finding a match. It's about moving into a new place, new time, freedom, regeneration, happiness, and real joy. You're going to be liberated from whatever this Klingon is. And so I do feel like part of it is the information that you need to know. Now, remember when we said that we're our, our soul's brother's keeper? We're going to be able to detach from this person in a gentle and in a, a loving, tolerant way. That's how I get it, because we can see them as the soul. And maybe that's why that card came out for you, because you do have something here. Letting it go as a soul would let go of another soul and understanding that the mind and perhaps in this person's experience is more in control. They're just not in alignment, and so that means they're not going to be a match. So with whatever person, place, or situation this is, I do feel like these two go together. So you have an ending. The Ten of Swords indicates something is done. But the Four of Swords helps you to insulate your energy and protect yourself if needed. That Four of Swords shows you're not here to do battle. You're giving that up. You're not going to get into an argument because you can't be happy, joyous, and free and be in a conflict. 
It just doesn't work that way. When somebody gets so riled up over things, they're just, their energy are releasing mountains of cortisol and adrenaline. It just can't, they can't, they're not compatible roommates. So I do feel like this is all about you being on your path of your most joy, letting go of something, letting it die, letting it rest, whatever needs to happen there, and you moving on because you start it here. This is at the end of June with this two of wands. You have the card of the visionary. This card of the visionary is where, where you see the future. So if it's a relationship, I do feel like you have somebody that comes in, man, and it will change your life. It is the kind of relationship where you see the good in humanity, where you see another person's ability to really love in a real level, in a real, in a truthful way, okay? So if you had a relationship that ended that was dishonest, I don't see you going back to that. Even if they try to scrounge up an apology, I just see you as walking free of it. And I still feel like, too, you're going to be vindicated, vindicated all the way through the end of the year. July is going to be fantastic. So if you're going through a difficult period, you keep going because when you enter this energy, I even like it with this. I mean, it starts up here. That Ace of Wands is nice too, so we'll put it in here. But I'll tell you what, the, the Ace of Wands is an initiation and this is what it brings into your life. Your passion is high. Any kind of a job you do, you feel like it's a hobby. You're eager to learn more. You're eager to get in there. You're being treated well. And this also, too, can be a change of venue. So if you are moving, if you had a situation, like I said, where things around you changed in your living environment, I feel like you have a new opportunity to move and it feels like a brand new beginning, a brand new fresh, clean slate. So with these three together, I mean, how can you go wrong? I just feel like it gets better and better for you. So the world is the wrapping up of a cycle. That dancer she is a mature person open to new experiences and with the energy of judgment right next door, that is literally people getting into heaven. And so I feel like you're going to be in a centered state of emotions and well-being, but you also are open to the universe. You're going to meet new people. You're going to have new experiences that have you feeling alive again. It breathes life into your life. This whole energy field does. And in terms of this too, you will find that the people around you, okay, this is all about achievement, victory, success, achieving your real desires. You have it down here as this fool sets off in August. So I feel like you're going to meet lots of new people and they're going to really illuminate your life. They're going to bring more to your life. I heard richness and depth. So if you don't have a lot of friends right now, if you have a lot of acquaintances, but you say they're not really what I'd consider real friends, I do feel like you're going to meet people that are going to be so much better for you in terms of friendships and loyalty. And in terms of a relationship, wow, you're released from anything here, anything that was holding you back. I just don't see it hanging on to you as you move forward into the remainder of the year even. And so the Knight of Wands, that knight in shining armor comes in. Now, if it was a job situation that you've been dealing with that's been challenging, I do feel like you're going to hit the ground running in a new job, or if you move, you're going to take to the area immediately. And you're going to find, too, that it just seems easier to meet people. It seems easier to find your passions, find your flow in that environment. So with this Knight of Wands, get ready to have life pick up. You will not be bored at the end of the summer. It'll be July and August are going to be hopping. But they're good. They're not in a way where you feel out of control with it. So the Ace of, pardon me, the Page of Cups comes in to bring a message of love. So this, in terms of a relationship, you have great aspects for meeting someone this summer. But I do feel like they are going to be in your, like putty in your hands. Whoever this is, they just melt at the sight of you. There's something about you that is so intoxicating for them. It's mesmerizing. You have a field of influence that will be tremendous. So that Seven of Swords, that little bugger makes one last appearance here. I don't know why. It's like, go away. You missed out on July. Why do you keep showing back up here? I do feel like it's the same energy. I'm just going to be honest. And it might be as you move on and get more serious about things that you have somebody who just pokes their head in. And so I would say with this one, if you're, you know, again, the tarot's best friend who tells you the truth, if you're well insulated, it won't really matter. You'll see it coming and you just won't spend much time on it because you're going to be busy expanding with this full energy and also to the six of wands. They both wear the, the wreath of victory as a crown. 
You have the wreath of victory here three different times. It's a portal into the divine. So you're going to be blessed in this energy. Anything new that you start, you will be successful. In a relationship, I'm telling you what, this person only has eyes for you. They are a true companion, a trusted person, somebody who your soul is meant to align with, somebody here who comes in where you have that next phase of expansion. You're going to do it with a partner that's beautiful and blessed. So let's see now what the fortune oracle has to say. You've got the card of the dragonfly. Have confidence during this time of great, re great joy, renewal, and connection with spirit. So again, we go back to that Edgar Casey because we know you're a divine being. And then we'll end here with the whispers of love. You've got like attracts like. If you long for more love, be more loving because you get what you are. And you are the your brother's keeper of the souls around you, right? So good things are on the way for you, Capricorn. I love you and I'll be back again soon.